Cassian, look, there's that man again. The one that looks like the Jade Dragon. Oh yeah, you're right, Augusta. Let's talk to him. But what, what if he's a werewolf or a, a vampire? Oh, pff, he's not a vampire, Cassian. I mean, just look at him. Ugh, fine. Uh, salve, Amike. Uh, pleasant evening, isn't it? Yes, uh, Itavero. Very pleasant indeed. <laughs> so where are you off to tonight? We've seen you prowling around the last few weeks. Just, uh, wondering what you've been up to, visitor. Prowling? Oh no, my friend. I leave the prowling to the vampires of Rome. No, I'm merely admiring the majesty of the pillars encapsulating the forum here. <laughs> All the great heroes and victors that continue to protect and yes, preside yes, over its people. Yes, yes, of course, but... Well, what are you doing here? In Rome, I mean. Where are you... from? Hmm. Elsewhere. <laughs> Elsewhere, Augusta. <laughs> <laughs> So... mysterious. Can we, uh... help you find anything specifically? A... vendor, perhaps? For... more suitable clothing in such a, uh... hot climate as ours? Yes! You must be stifling in that... heavy robe of yours. Oh? Very... elaborate and beautiful, of course. Mm -hmm. Sort of like the jade dragons? Yes. And, uh... You must be able to conceal a great deal under all those layers. Ah, Mayor Domina, I have nothing yet to conceal, though I affirm your right to public exposure as you apparently see fit. Yet another admirable trait of the great city of Rome. It's unyielding tolerance. But I do appreciate your concern and your patronage. Hmm. Uh, gradias tibiago. Have a wonderful evening, and keep an eye out for monsters <laughs> lurking around the corners. Yes, of course we will. Vive Valeke. <laughs> Vive Valeke. What is your name? So that we may uh, call upon you appropriately the next time we meet. Hmm. My name is Satoshi. Did you hear that, Augusta? Satoshi. Sounds like a delicious dish. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or a delicious dessert. <laughs> Common. Perhaps tonight I will make my presence known. She must be racked with nerves about tomorrow. Excuse me, sir. No. My mistake, sir. I hope she's not already asleep. You look well. My princess. Wait. That lavender dress is, not is that Meng Yao talking to someone inside her apartment? I get to see you. Who is that? And this is real guardian? Sounds like a man. Real agent, Chen. And a woman. I just wish I could touch you again. Strange accents. Huh. Remember going crazy on the other side of that the man sounds so familiar. Who could be visiting her at this hour? Besides me, is she in trouble? How much I've always loved you. What if it's the alchemists? I will always love you. I'd better knock. So sorry. Too much, Agent. She's gonna mirage. I love you too. Wait, wait. I know you'll make sure Did she just say, I love you? Okay, I will. When the time is right. Domina Draconis, it's me, Akeem. Goodbye, and thank you, Amber. Yes, Akeem, please enter. Oh, it's just you in here. Good evening, Meng Yao. You, you look beautiful in that lavender dress. So I've heard. Well, when in Rome. Hmm. The dressmaker just delivered a whole crate of clothing and beautiful things. Oh. It's all so extravagant. Thank you for making sure I have everything I need, Akeem. Well, I had plenty of denarii to spend after my first pay. And I don't eat much. Heh <laughs> no. And I promised I would take care of you, so... So, anyway. Thought I'd come see you before we head out for Africa in the morning. Oh, that's so nice of you. Please come in. Have a seat. Have you eaten tonight? Yes, plenty. Uh, is it just 
You here? Is no one else here with you? Nope, it's just me. Why do you ask? Uh, I, I just thought I heard you talking to someone else. Sensitive vampire ears, I guess. Oh, <laughs> no, I was just uh, talking to myself in the mirror. It's been my only true friend lately. Hmm. I'm sorry you've been so lonely lately. I know Kianja's blooded have been kept very busy on the fronts. We seem to be having a werewolf problem just outside the city. But you'll be sick of me by the time we return to Rome after our trip. <laughs> I promise. Your nose, it's bleeding again. Oops. Here. Oh no, it's okay. No, let me help you. No, really, I don't want to get any of it on you. Here, just let me... Like I said, I... I've already, um, I've... <laughs> I've already, uh... <sighs> Eaten. You're... you're scaring me. Sorry. <laughs> it stopped. Thank you. Let me just... Oh, nice going, Akeem. <laughs> you look very pretty tonight. Oh, <laughs> thank you. We had court at the last minute earlier this evening to make sure everything was prepared for the big trip. Haven't had a moment's rest since then. And was Dominic, uh, behaved? He tried his best. I could tell. <laughs> But the senator with the drifting eye carried on just a bit too long and it just sent him over the edge. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Dominic. Oh, but I've been using the veil you bought me. No more blinding green sunlight in their eyes. They were a great idea. <laughs> I can see them, but they can't see me now. Well, then I pity them. It looks like you've... you've got some new armor? Uh, yeah. Dominic convinced his friends on the hill to buy new armor for the entire house of Kianja. And look, the sigils are snakes. <laughs> Whoa. Amazing, right? Must have cost him a fortune. In favors, of course. <laughs> he says it'll all be worth it once he earns the throne of Rome. He wants to be the Blood Emperor, as he calls it. Then he can enforce some sort of vampire protection laws once he completes his ascension. Ooh. I shudder to think. Dominic truly has a silver tongue, doesn't he? <sighs> That's what Marcus said. Marcus? Uh, yeah. One of the new commanders. Kianja is obsessed with him. It's really annoying. Oh, how romantic. It must be the love of her life that we saw in the tea leaves. <laughs> Maybe now she won't be so... So what, jealous? <laughs> well... And what does Mother Kianja have to be jealous of, Meng Yao? And you... <laughs> Cut your hair. Yeah. Kianja wants us all shorn like sheep before we head south. Keeps us cooler in the jungle. Oh, maybe I should shear mine too. No. I love your long black hair. I would miss it. Soft. And warm. Like your cheeks. You're blushing, Jade Dragon. Sorry. <laughs> maybe one day I'll be so used to the burn that... I'll be able to walk in the sun with you. <laughs> I'd like that. Meng Yao, you know that I could never hurt you, don't you? I, well... May I kiss you? I think maybe we should... I can see the way your heart is beating just under your skin. Like mine. Wait, wait, wait! Oh no, I'm so sorry. No. I didn't mean to. I swear, I'm just it's fine. I'm tired sorry. and I shouldn't anxious. have done that. I don't know what came over me. Ah, well, between the burns and healing battle wounds, I must look like a roasted beast. Let me look in the mirror. <laughs> yep, an absolute disaster. I'm sorry, it's not you, I promise. I'm your friend, Meng Yao. You can tell me anything. What's really been troubling you? You're... You're just going to have to trust me. I... I know it's a lot to ask of you, but it will all make sense very soon. To the both of us, I think. This is the one thing I know for sure. Huh. Alright, fine. As you wish, Jade Princess. Would you... like to get some fresh air? Take a walk with me tonight? I think I should get some rest. I have a few letters to write tonight. Very important letters. Hmm. 
Okay, then I'll see you tomorrow. Good night, I think. Why am I like this? What must she think of me now? Ah, you must be the great Takehiko. Excuse me? Well, I hear them call you Akim the Wise around here. Sometimes the prince, and uh, I've heard you call her princess on more than one occasion. Meng Yao, the woman who lives here. Do you intend to one day unify your kingdoms, so to speak? My name is Akim of the House of Kyanja. You may call me that and that only. Who are you? Why? Is it so important for you to know everyone in Rome, Akim? Uh, I don't have to know everyone because they should all certainly know me. You know, the House of Kianja has only been back for a day from battle. Those wounds already look nearly healed. And your eyes. There's melted silver in them. And you look a bit sun-kissed, leaving the witch's apartment. Hmm. So it's true. You all are vampires. It's clear you're new around here. So I will give grace in lieu of your ignorance. I am just so fascinated by this vampirism. It just seems so impossible. You're truly immortal? Are you out hunting for your next meal? I may have already found it. Dominus Akim, how old are you? Is that inappropriate of me to ask? Please, I'm just a curious guest in your city, an inconsequential tourist. Uh, well, I was bitten on my 26th birthday. Uh-huh, uh-huh, yes, yes, but how long has it been since then? Uh, I can't be sure. Maybe 150 years? Give or take. Ah, incredible. Magnificent. And the essence... Whose blood essence have you interred? Essence. Essence? <laughs> You're the alchemist. Yes, yes, my boy. But she doesn't know I'm here, I swear. I'm not a boy. Why are you still stalking her? Oh, I'll leave the stalking to you, Akihiko. I, um, I was worried about her. She suddenly vanished. I found out you brought her, here. She shouldn't be here, Akim. She's... Fragile. Weak. Confused. I was afraid she was in danger. She's my friend, Akim. Despite what you might have heard, <laughs> I care for the girl, same as you. She's fine here. She's safe. I will allow you to leave before sunrise. Oh, I certainly plan to. But now that I've met you, Akihiko, I simply must know more about your condition. If you leave now, I won't be able to track your scent before I get too angry. But... I... I can pay you whatever you want. I just have a few questions. A few experiments I'd like to run. Why do the authorities here allow you to travel the streets without hassle? You may come and go as you please. Your window is closing, Alchemist. Ah, my name is Satoshi. I am from the East. Uh, just a drop of your blood is all I ask for. Considerably much less than what I currently require from Meng Yao. You'll never touch her again. Uh... Fine. I'm sure her family is dead by now anyways. They'll need my protection no longer. Wha what? Well, that was the agreement. Her blood essence for my experiments in exchange for protecting her family back home from the vicious nomadic hordes terrorizing her homeland. Protection? And she believed you? Well, if it weren't for her trying to change the future, her father's future, all of it might not have happened. They may still have been alive and well. What do you mean? Blood magic always comes at a high price. She is quite remarkable, isn't she? I could never tell her a lie. Every fortune she's told for me has come to pass, just as she saw it. I've been obsessed with her sorceress family for years. I finally boxed her in at the merchant camp, held her power in the palm of my hand. I just needed more time to purify it. Quantify it, replicate it, but it doesn't matter now, does it? She's here for good, it seems. Out of my reach. How long have you been doing this? Is she still having the nightmares? Has she solved the riddle of the burning ring of fire in the sky yet? 
Oh, she never told you about that? Well, Meng Yao and I did become rather close. You scared her. Well, I was quite persistent with her, yes. Tell me, does she still carry the Jade Stone with her? Why? I would very much like to have it. Do you think you could steal it for me? I hear you've got quick hands and deft feet. I'll pay any amount. It's just that this stone, the heirloom, has immense power inside of it. Just touching it resonates through you. I would be a legend amongst the other alchemists if I could obtain it. Have you never touched it before, Akihiko? You said your name was Satoshi? Mm-hmm. Satoshi, if we ever meet again in this city after the night, there will be a lot less conversation and uh, a lot less of you left afterwards. Ooh, why don't you just bite me already? Promise I won't scream. Here. Well? Hmm. Is it because you know Meng Yao may not like it? Oh, and what did the Oracle of Delphi tell her? I hear she's a haggard fiend. I'm glad to have finally met you, Alchemist. I am pleasantly disappointed. Now, take the night well with you and get out of Rome. What did you do, Prince Akeem, to make the Jade Dragon scorch you so evenly like that? You must have been face to face, I'm sure, quite close. How do you know you're not under her spell to manage your emotions and keep herself safe from you? How much is real, do you think? You're merely infatuated with the girl, Akihiko. How much do you even really know about magic? I know all I need to know, and she's real enough to me. She respects me. She listens. She doesn't treat me like a child, like everyone else. Like your blood mother, you mean? Speaking of children, could she even bear your child? I've always wondered how that works. Despite her being a walking son, what about when she grows older? When she dies and leaves you all alone once again? Well, until then, I will enjoy the time we have left. Now, good I'm night. I'm sorry, Akeem, please, just tell me how it's done. What? Well, the change, of course, the change! Careful, Icarus, you're flying precariously close to the sun. I can't believe I'm actually glad to see you, Dominic. Hello, brother. I need your merciless discouragement. It might just save this poor wanderer's life. <sighs> Finally, I get to meet the great... Uh, well, I get to meet Dominic, Satoshi at your service. My reputation precedes me. Most things might, in your case. And just what have I done to you already? We've only just met. He's the alchemist. Uh, yes, I know. What do you mean you know? You're powerful enough to turn invisible again, aren't you? Hmm, well... Explains the missing skulls lately. I... How long were you standing there? Um, not long. Lover boy. Ugh. Ah, so this is the alchemist. Well, may I just say, I'm a big fan of your work. Dom! Only kidding. <laughs> Only partly kidding. I have much to discuss with you, Dominic. I've seen your efforts on the hill. What you have in mind for your kind... I think we can help each other. I highly doubt you have anything I couldn't obtain myself. Yet I find you particularly lacking. You cower behind your mistress. Subordinate to your peers, you have no backbone to speak of. I'll show you your own backbone. When I heard the rumors of the great vampire house of Rome, I was looking forward to meeting the most well-known den on Earth. Perhaps it was for all the wrong reasons. Would you like a personal demonstration of our prowess this evening? Yes, please. Come to my apartment tonight before you leave. How did you do it? How did you win over Rome? God's brother. Could you imagine him and the witch going round and round all afternoon? It couldn't have been by force. Ah, <sighs> it was by faith. Good faith. When the guards raided our hidden den just outside the city decades ago, they gave us a choice. Burn at high noon in a mass execution, or fight for the Legion until we severed 1,000 souls each from the enemy's ranks. That was the easy bit. We fought, and the blood was free-flowing, and we steadily grew, adopted new fledglings during the winters, trained them for battle in the spring. Remarkable! I'm ready! Fledge me! You can have everything I own, all of my <laughs> all money right. and property. Easy. Easy there, Satoshi from the east. Wow. Uh, come, take a stroll through the gardens with me. Let's chat. Take the night well, Akeem. I look forward to disembarking on our grand trip to Africa tomorrow. Nice to meet you, Akihiko. 
Oh, that sounded darling. Can I have one of those names too? Anything you want, Master Dominic? <laughs> Great. Uh, look, besides the fact that I've already fed, it would be foolish of me to sire a fledgling I've just met. Turning perfect strangers can be an unnatural disaster just waiting to happen. The process requires trust, confidence, time. And approval from your blooded mother? And, uh, you're already quite old. I wouldn't even consider making you a familiar. Oh, I see. But I would serve exuberantly. My enthusiasm will exhaust you. I'm resting quite assured. But take Akeem, for example. You can always tell the vampires who grew and matured while blessed with the blood of an immortal, as if they were born to be vampires. Delightfully deadly, cold and precise, like an ancient snake, carved from marble. Do you have it in you? To take an innocent life, to rebuke the sun in all of its forms for all of time? I've endured my fair share of moral dilemma within the parameters of my own work. Perhaps I overindulge in some cases. Satoshi, my friend, take it from me. Becoming a fledgling could be a fate worse than death if you're not ready for it. And surviving it would make that fate a certainty. But this is what I've been after my whole career. Everlasting life. The elixir of longevity is flowing inside those fangs. And it's my birthright. You know... I used to think I deserved this too, but Kyonja was right. No one deserves this, Satoshi, and given your apparent proclivity of making fast friends with monsters, know this. It is forbidden for any vampire to quicken you once you've taken the blood oath with another. I feel I must make you inescapably aware of that. Okay, yes of course, Master Dominic, but why exactly? Because a blood betrayal begets a corrupted vampire and a corrupted vampire begets a monster. Oh, I uh, understand. So, go back to your apartment, Satoshi. Think on what I've said, as will I. Your, so your house is heading to Africa? How long before you return? <laughs> what a curious, nosy man you are. You're not a spy, are you? Oh no, I am not a great keeper of secrets. The man who can keep a secret may be wise, but he is not half as wise as the man with no secrets to keep. Fair. Then tell me, are you in love with the Jade Dragon? Well, I am disastrously invested in her. I see. Well, please write down in your alchemy notes, so you don't forget that if you ever contact Meng Yao again, or even breathe her name, the marble snake before you will unhinge its jaw and swallow you whole. Okay, let me write that down. Dominic, unhinged, noted. But in turn, tell me this. You're a young Roman man. Attractive, intelligent, and a vampire. Above all else, you're a demon in disguise, aren't you? Why then have you only come so far here in Rome? Well, none of these attributes matter if you don't have the right opportunities to come knocking. Well, that is when you build the door yourself, demon. What are you really doing here, Satoshi? Knock, knock. 